Welcome back with Volcano of the Day, and because this this volcano has been in the news lately, and I've yet to cover it, so it's going to be IE for today. So, submarine volcano, 449 feet below sea level, at least for now, and yeah, it's doing some issues right now. Um, so, last known eruption, today, um... Unspecified style eruptions. Um, so, Ayi Sea Mount is a large conical submarine volcano that rises to within 137 meters of the sea surface, about 18 kilometers southeast of the island of Ralan de Pajaros, Arrakis, in the northern Marianas. Water discoloration has been observed over the submarine volcano in 1939. <coughs> The crew of a fishing boat felt shocks over the summit area of the seamount, following by upwelling of sulfur-bearing water. On April 25th to 20, the 24th to 25th of 01, an explosive submarine eruption was detected seismically from a seismic station on Ringaroa Atoll. Uh, Tau the Taumotu Archipelago. The event was well con uh, constrained, uh, mm -hmm. give or take 15 kilometers, at the location near the southern base of Ayi. The summit of the seamount lies within the location uncertainty. So, more info if at all possible. Links will be in the description box below nonetheless. Um, so, Oh, wait. Anyways, that might be it for back. That's actually it for background. The satellite imagery and most recent news we will go over because it's a little weekly update thing. Um, but outside of that, we already handled recent news. So, November 15th, the USGS reported that hydroacoustic sensors at Wake Island began to record signals in mid October that were consistent of submarine volcanic activity. A combined analysis of hydroacoustic signals and seismic data from stations in Guam and Chichijima Island in Japan suggests the source of this activity is at or near Ie Seamount. Contrary to initial observations there, of there being discoloration on the water surface, a reanalysis of satellite imagery from November 6 showed no evidence of water decoloration at the open ocean surface. So there's a good chance it's not erupting, but doesn't mean it's not getting ready to. Because it could still very well erupt, and depending on what happens, you got the sea, the underwater landslides possible, a lot of other stuff, and that could trigger tsunamis and stuff like that. Now chances of this thing doing something to trigger a tsunami is slim, but it's not zero. That's the whole thing there. It's low, but it's not zero. When it's above zero, gotta keep an eye on it. So, with that, that does seem to be it for right now. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video. Bye.